dear students i welcome all for this session in our last session we have discussed in detail how to insert a new node into a singly linked list today we are going to discuss other operations on singly linked list the first operation we are going to discuss is deletion operation deleting a node from the linked list to delete a node from the singly linked list we need to perform the following steps first step is you have to find the previous node of the node that you are going to delete after finding the previous node you have to change the address part of the previous node to the address of the next node that is present to the node that you are going to delete next you have to free the memory location that is allocated for the node that you are going to delete so these are the three steps that you are going to apply on every node that you are going to delete from the singly linked list let us now discuss in detail how to delete a node from the linked list by considering three different cases that that are um, there are deleting a node from the beginning deleting a node at the end and deleting the node in between the nodes in the singly linked list deleting a node from the front of the linked list that is uh, a node which is present at the beginning of the linked list here have considered a list with four nodes okay as we have discussed in the previous slide So first uh, you have to find the previous node because you are deleting the first node from the linked list there is no previous node to this node okay so here you have to assume the header itself as the previous node okay so the address of the header has to be changed from the address of the first node to the address of the second node okay so how to change the address of the address of the header uh, from 1 2 3 to to the address of uh, the node that is the second node uh, whose address is 5 4 3 6 just access the link part of the first two node so the link part of the first node will give you the address of the second node hence change the header address to the address of the first node link part okay so this is diagrammatically illustrated in this diagram okay so what i have done to delete the first node I have simply changed the address of the header to the address of the second node that is 5 4 3 so this address is available uh, in the first node link part just access the first node link part and copy that address to the header okay this is how you are going to perform deletion operation so when you change the address of the header to the uh, address of the second node so this node will be existing in the linked list but the access to this node is broken okay so actually to delete the node you have to free the memory location that is allocated for this node hence we are going to call a free function in c language by passing the address of this node that is 1 2 3 2 as the parameter so once you call a free function the memory that is allocated for this node will be taken back by the computer and thus you are going to perform deletion operation okay so uh, the same thing as now let us discuss the c code to perform deletion operation at the front so here I have created a function called delete function this function does not accept any parameter within this function I have declared a pointer variable called cptr which is a current pointer variable uh, of node type and then have declared a variable called deleted item just to uh, give you 
an information regarding the item that is deleted from the uh, linked list. So the data part of the node will be copied to this uh, variable deleted item and it will be displayed. Okay, so before performing deletion operation on the linked list, you have to check whether the linked list is empty or not. How do you check whether the linked list is empty or not? If the linked list is empty, the header will be having the value null, isn't it? So just check the header value. If the head value is equal to null, it indicates the list is empty. You cannot perform deletion operation. Else, else, if the header is not null, then there are some nodes in the linked list. So you can carry out the deletion operation. Okay. So uh, what I have done in the else cases, have just uh, assigned the header value to the current point that is CPTR. So next I'm going to, I'm going to copy the data part of the current pointer. That is this pointer CPTR is pointing to the first node. Okay. So the first point, first node data is copied to uh, the variable that have uh, created earlier deleted item. So to this variable, I'm copying the data of the first node. Okay. And then I'm printing uh, a message to the user that the item deleted from the linked list is deleted item. That is the value of this variable deleted item. Okay. So after printing a message to the user that the item that you are going to delete from the linked list is this. Next, you are going to change the head value to what? So the header value will be changed to the CPTR link, the first node link part. The first node link part will give the address of the second node. Okay. So the header is now pointing to the second node. Suppose just imagine if the uh, if there are no nodes uh, next to the first node, that means the linked list contains only one node, then obviously the link part of the first node will be having a value null. When you copy the null value to header, it indicates that the list is uh, empty after performing deletion operation. After deleting the first node, which is the only node in the linked list, the list becomes empty. And this is uh, clearly indicated by um, by assigning a null value to header. So that case also will be satisfied. Okay. So uh, this is how we are going to delete the node by changing the head pointer to the next node, address of the next node. And next, after changing the head pointer, you are going to free the memory location that is allocated for the First node, how we are going to do it? So just pass the address of the first node as a parameter to this free function. So free is a, a memory deallocation function provided by C language. So when you pass the address of the first node that is present in the CPTR, so the memory that is allocated for that node will be deleted. This is the simple C code, uh, which illustrates how to delete a node that is present at the beginning of the linked list. Okay. Let us now discuss how to delete the last node that is present in the linked list. Here I've considered the same linked list that I have considered earlier. So here the last node is the node with the data item 23. Have to remove this node. So how to remove this last node? first have to traverse from the first node to the, to the node that is present previous to the last node, that is this node, okay? So while deleting uh, the node from the linked list, first you have to identify the previous node, okay? Once you identify the previous node, you have to change the link part of the previous node. Because you are deleting the last node, the link part of the previous node should be set to null. So this is diagrammatically illustrated here. So the previous node link part is set to null. When the previous node link part is set to null, 
the access to this last node is broken. Once the access to the last node is broken, you can deallocate the memory that is allocated for this node by calling a free function in C language. Let us now discuss the C program segment to delete a node at the end. I am creating a function called delete end. Within this function, I am declaring two pointer variable. The first pointer variable called CPTR, which always points to the current node. And the second pointer variable points to the previous node. Hence, I have declared the name of this uh, uh, pointer variable as PREV, previous. Previous node address will be hold by this pointer variable. Next, I have declared an integer variable called deleted item, which uh, holds the data item of the node that you are going to delete. Before performing deletion, you will check whether the head value is null. If the head value is null, the list will be empty. You will stop uh, the deletion operation. That means you cannot perform deletion operation. Else, you are going to set your current position to the first node and also the previous uh, pointer variable to the first node. The first node address will be pointed out by the header value. Hence, you will be setting CPTR and PREV pointer variables to head. Now, you are going to move from the first node to the last node. How do you move from the first node to the last node? Uh, the last node in the linked list will be having uh, the link value null. So if you find a node with the link value null, uh, it clearly indicates uh, you are at the last node. Okay, Just keep on checking the current pointer link value. If the current pointer link value is not null, what you are going to do? You are going to take a jump from the first node to the next node the current node to the next node. So, and you will set the previous node to the current node by assigning CPTR value to previous and you will move your current node to the next node. How you will move your current node to the uh, next node? Just change the CPTR value to CPTR link. The current node link will always give the address of the next node. Hence, you are going to update your current pointer value to CPTR link. So this looping will be continued until you reach uh, a node whose link part is null. So once uh, you reach a node whose link part is null, uh, it means you are at the last node. Just copy uh, the data of that node, that is current pointer data to deleted item and print this, uh, uh, print the value of the deleted item using printf statement. After that, you are going to set your previous uh, node link part to null. So once you set the previous node link part to null, the access to the last node is broken. So in the next step, you are going to free the memory location that is allocated for the last node by calling a free function. To this free function, you will pass the address of the last node. The address of the last node will be, uh, will be present in this CPTR pointer variable. You will just pass that pointer variable to this free function. So this completes a deletion of a node um, that is present at the end of the linked list. Next, we will discuss how to delete a node from the specified position in the linked list. So here we will directly discuss the C program segment to delete a node from the specified position because you have already understood how to delete a node from the beginning and how to delete a node from the end. It is very easy for you to understand this program. Here I am creating a function called delete POS. So this function will accept a parameter that is the position of the node uh, that you want to delete. Okay. So within this function I have declared two pointer variables of type node and one pointer variable called CPTR points to the current uh, node address. So this always points to the 
current node and PREV, uh, which represents uh, the previous node. So this pointer variable holds the address of the previous node. Okay, and next uh, we are going to uh, delete a node from the specified position. Before you delete a node from the specified position, you have to check whether the user has entered a valid position. If the user has entered an invalid position, you have to prompt the user with an appropriate message. So for that, first you should know how many nodes are there in the linked list. After counting the number of nodes in the linked list, then you can say whether the position entered by the user is valid or invalid. So for that, uh, here I'm using a variable called count. Initially, this count variable is set to zero. Uh, later, we are going to travel the linked list and then we are going to update this counter variable. Okay. And I'm using a variable called deleted item uh, just to store the data item of a node that we are going to delete. And I is a variable uh, used in looping statement. And in the next line, I'm setting my current position uh, to the address pointed out by the head pointer. Okay, initially I'm setting my current pointer to head. And then I'll check whether the CPTR value is null. If the CPTR value is null, that means uh, there are no nodes in the linked list. If the CPTR content or the address that is stored in the CPTR is not null, then you have to traverse from one node to another node and then you have to update your counter. So if the CPTR is not null, you're going to move the next node. The address of the next node will be present in the current CPTR link part. That means you are going to update your CPTR as CPTR link and then you are going to increment your counter okay so this is repeated until the link part of the node becomes null when the link part of the node becomes null it clearly indicates there are no nodes further to that node you have to stop your counting operation so at the end of this while loop you will be knowing how many nodes are present in the linked list next you are going to check whether the position entered by the user is one. If the position entered by the user is one, then you are going to call a delete front function because you are deleting the first node from the linked list. We have already discussed how to delete the first node from the linked list. So you are going to call that function delete front. If the position entered by the user is equal to the count that is there are if there are uh, uh, five nodes in the linked list and if you want to delete the fifth node that means the position entered by you is five and the counter value will be all also five in this case you are going to call the delete end function because you are deleting the last node in the linked list suppose if these two conditions are false, that means the position entered by the user is not one and it is not equal to count. That means it should be in between one to count, right? So it comes to the else block. In the else block, uh, we will check whether the position entered by the user is less than count. It should be, the position should value should be greater than one and it should be less than count, okay? If this condition is true, then we are going to set uh, the current pointer to uh, head, my current pointer to head, and also the previous pointer to head. Next, we are going to move our current position from the first node to the position that is specified by the user. For that, I'm using a looping statement, for looping statement here. Initially, the high value will be equal to one, and we should move up to the position, right? So this I value is incremented until uh, it reaches the value of POS, okay? So then we are going to set our previous pointer to current PTR and we are going to move our current pre PTR value from first node to the next node. So the address of the next node is present in the CPTR link part. We are going to update our CPTR as CPTR link. 
so this is repeated until we reach until we reach a node whose position is specified by the user so as soon as we reach uh, the node specified by the user we are going to copy the data of that node uh, to this deleted item by writing deleted item equals to cptr data the current pointer data will give you the node whose data is going to be removed from the linked list and next we are going to we are going to update our previous node link part the previous node link part should be set to the current node link okay that is what we have discussed uh, uh, while discussing the steps that we have to follow while deleting a node so we have updated the previous node link part and next we are going to uh, deallocate the memory that is allocated for the current node by writing free cptr so this function is going to deallocate the memory that is allocated for this for the node whose address is pointed out by this cptr next we are going to print the deleted item suppose if the specified position value is not less than count obviously uh, the position value will be invalid and we are going to prompt the user with a message that the position specified by you is an invalid position so this completes uh, the c function to delete a node from the specified position i hope all of you have understood the uh, the function that is delete pos and now we are going to discuss how to search for an element in singly linked list searching is performed in order to find uh, the location of a particular element if the element is present in the linked list so searching an element in singly linked list needs traversal through the list and we have to make comparison of the given element with every element in the list until we find a match for the element if the element is matched with any of the element in the linked list then the location of that element is written by this searching operation if the given element is not found in the linked list then the search will be unsuccessful and the location of that element is not found by this searching operation now we will discuss the c program segment to search for an element in singly linked list because in singly linked list the data elements are not organized that means the elements are not arranged in either in ascending or descending order we cannot apply binary searching technique here we have to search for an element linearly okay so here i have created a function called search this function will accept one parameter called item and this item has to be searched in the linked list okay and uh, within this function I have created a pointer variable called cptr this pointer variable hold the address of the node and in the next line i am setting a variable height to 1 and flag to 0 so this flag is used uh, to check whether uh, an element is found or not initially it is assigned to 0 that means the element is not found okay and this i pointer points to the node whether you are at the first node or second node third node so depending on the position this i pointer will be incremented in the program okay initially this i pointer is set to 1 and uh, now i am going to set my current position to the first node the address of the first node is pointed out by this head pointer i am copying the content of that head pointer to cptr in the next line i check whether the cptr content is equal to null if the cptr is null it clearly indicates the list is empty there are no nodes in the list hence you cannot perform searching operation else else you will check whether the cptr data is equal to the given item if the cptr data is equal to the item then you are going to print the location of that uh, node that is item is found at the location that is percentage d and the location of the node is the value of i okay 
if the cptr data is equal to item then i am going to uh, set my flag variable to one when this flag variable is set to one it means uh, the item is found okay and then i'll break the loop so here i am using a while loop while cptr content is not equal to null so you have to traverse from the beginning to the end for an element called item so uh, if the cptr data is not equal to item what you are going to do next you are going to move uh, your current pointer to the next node by writing cptr equals to cptr link simultaneously you are going to increment the i value because when you move from one node to the next node the i pointer so the, sorry the i value should be incremented okay so this process of searching for an element is repeated until you find find a match or you reach the end of the linked list so the end of the linked list is uh, reached when the cptr content becomes null Okay, if the cptr content is null it means you have reached the end of the linked list in that case you are going to stop your searching operation and you will say that the item is not found when the item is not found the flag value will be zero if the flag value is zero then you will print a message to the user that the item is not found this is as simple as linear such that we have applied on array next we will discuss how to display the elements of the singly linked list to display the elements of the singly linked list you have to traverse from one node to the other node until you reach the end of the list isn't it so for that i am calling a display function so within this display function i have created a pointer variable called cptr and i'll check whether the head value is equals to null if the head value is equals to null it means the list is empty else i'll set my current pointer to head and then i'm going to print the elements of uh, the list by writing printf the elements are and then i'll use a looping statement because this looping statement is used because you have to traverse from one node to other node and you will reach the end of the linked list when the cptr content is null so if the cptr content is not null you are going to print uh, the cptr data so that is uh, the node data and you are going to take a jump to the next node by updating the cptr cptr equals to cptr link so this is repeated for every node uh, until uh, the node link part becomes null okay so this is a very simple algorithm to display the elements of uh, the linked list next we have discussed uh, stack data structure and we have uh, implemented stack data structure using array uh, in our previous sessions isn't it now we have discussed a uh, singly linked list even you can implement a stack data structure using singly linked list how the stack can be implemented using linked list we must make linked list to work as a stack by following a condition what condition on a stack both insertion and deletion operation should be performed at the front end that is uh, the beginning okay so if both insertion and deletion operation is carried out at the front end of the linked list then the linked list will act as a stack why we have to perform uh, both the operation at the front because stack stores recently inserted item at the top so when we traverse the linked list inserted item that is the last inserted item should be reached first this is possible only when we perform insertion at the front uh, in singly linked list so with this uh, idea i hope all of you will implement a stack data structure using singly linked list we have already discussed uh, uh, the code for this that is insertion at front uh, deletion at front so you have to combine these functions and you have to write 
the C program uh, is a complete C program which act as a stack data structure. Because you have implemented a stack data structure uh, using linked list, which uses dynamic memory management technique to allocate memory, uh, you need not check for stack overflow condition while performing insertion operation on stack data structure. I hope all of you will follow this and you are going to implement a stack using singly linked list. Similarly, you are going to implement uh, the linear queue using singly linked list. Linear queue can be implemented using linked list. We must make linked list to work as a queue by allowing insertion at one end and deletion at the other end. So this insertion operation should be performed at the end of the linked list and deletion operation should be performed at the beginning of the linked list. Because you are implementing queue using linked list, uh, which uses dynamic memory management technique, uh, you need not check for queue overflow condition when you are performing insertion operation. I hope uh, all of you will follow this uh, uh, concept and you are going to implement the queue data structure. So when you are implementing a queue data structure using singly linked list, you have to call uh, deletion at front and insertion at end function. Okay, that functions we have discussed already. So you have to make use of those function to build a queue data structure. So with this, I'll complete all the operations on uh, a singly linked list. I hope all of you have understood. Thank you. Thank you for your patience listening.